What's happening, my curious bunch of health fanatics? Everyone knows that eating late at night is a recipe for weight gain and a slower metabolism. But recent data shows even more reason why that late night packet of potato chips and 11 p.m. frozen pizza is going to kill you faster. A study by researchers at Brigham and Women's Hospital analyzed why eating late at night as opposed to regular eating habits had such profound health differences. The research showed that eating late at night increased risk for obesity, increased formation of fat tissue, and decreased ability for weight loss. For the study, overweight slash obese people were selected for two in-laboratory eating schedules. This was a crossover study, which simply means the group of 16 people that were selected all received the same treatment schedule, but the order in which they receive them is different and assigned randomly. Facets such as sleep, light exposure, physical activity, and even posture were all taken into account. Both eating schedules delivered exactly the same foods, but one was given to the sub subjects approximately four hours later in the day, pushing the calorie intake into the evening. Regular blood tests were taken during this trial, including things like their hunger, body temperature, energy expenditure were all observed. Biopsies were also taken of fat tissue in order to monitor various biochemical behavior in relation to adipose tissue formation or basically fat accumulation. Needless to say, the results between the two different time diets were quite fascinating. Consuming foods later transformed or changed the behavior of the appetite regulating hormone, ghrelin, which resulted in lower levels of the hormone leptin. Leptin basically instructs your mind to tell you that you are full and to stop eating. So what do you think happens when these levels are lower? So when people ate later, not only did their appetite hormone ghrelin kick in more, telling them that they were hungry, but the leptin levels were reduced, instructing them to keep eating. Combine this with the fact that eating later slowed down calorie burning, and we have a recipe, pun intended, for weighing scale disaster. But there is more bad news. Gene expression in those fat tissues had changed, causing their tissues to prefer storing of fats over the burning of their existing fat supplies in those tissues. So eating late at night is a bad idea for anyone trying to lose weight or stay healthy. I personally don't eat till lunchtime and then I stop eating at 6 p.m. That is an 18 hour window each day where I do not eat or a six hour window from lunchtime to 6 p.m. where I do eat. But every body is different. What works for me may not work for you. Your age, sex, medical conditions, medications, weight, even ethnicity can change various facets of your biology. If you want to get the physique you want, consider a personalized program from my website at www.scienceofaging.life. And if you are new to longevity and don't know where to start, again, consider doing my introductory course and I'll leave a discount code in the details below. Many people struggle with weight and there are many tactics you can use with the right information and the right mentoring. I am yet to find someone that couldn't be transformed. Don't fall into the trap of using your sense of taste to dictate what foods you eat. That is a pathway to having poor health. Learn to eat foods that may not taste nice but are full of nutrients. Your mind should be making food decisions as opposed to your sense of taste. And know this, that your taste buds do change over time. So foods you may not like become quite easy to eat after a short time. And finally, one more comment worth sharing. Do you want a six pack? Well, you already have the six pack of your dreams and it's just covered with a simple layer of fat. Losing weight is 95% done in the kitchen and 5% exercise. You cannot train your way out of a bad diet, eat correctly and at the right times and watch the weight or the fat fall off you. You need to know what foods to consume and at what time to consume them. You have to be consistent, two days won't cut it two weeks or a month will deliver fast and vast results. The more muscle you hold, the more you can burn through fat as well, because muscles have large energy requirements, so consider resistance training. And as always, always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Hit the thumbs up button and fist bump that subscribe button or face the consequences of your actions. 
Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.